Hi there, I'm Angus Wright and I also go by Angus by Design and this is another day in my personal practice of journaling uh, in a journal that I call a satsang of one and essentially what I do is I start my day um, with an episode of the Ram Das Be Here Now podcast I created a journal about that I also take some quotes and I put it in my physical journal and then I pull a card from my animal oracle deck. And all of this is part of my own personal uh, wellness recovery action planning and part of my own daily maintenance <clears throat> as it relates to me and my personal well-being. So uh, I love today's episode. I love all the episodes to be honest. But today's episode was the importance of social action. And that's something that touches my heart. So the first quote is called, All Thoughts Towards God. The key is karma yoga. In karma yoga, you take what is in front of you as you step towards God. And that's Ram Das. The next quote is called protesting from the heart social action is not when you are doing something to somebody but it is when you and the person you are fighting are one you see the person who you are fighting as a soul manifesting their karma you should relate to that person as a soul and not to their karma. And that's Ram Das. And the next quote is called Service and Surrender. In the old days, I went out to go to bedsides and do speeches and to do social action. Now I don't leave Maui, my island paradise. Now people come to me on retreat and work with me over Skype. I transmit my soul to them. I transmit peace and love until the mirror effect causes them to look and identify with their soul. And that was Ram Das. And then the last quote is called selfless action. And these days, what I experience when I am helping Maharaji convert egos to soul, and I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it just to help Majara Maharaji. And that's in reference to aligning Dharma which is sort of like life's purpose and aligning soul with his guru. So Maharaji was um, uh, Ra like uh, Ram Das uh, considered him a guru and a, a spiritual leader in that, in that sense. Um, so I love that. And I'm basically gonna take that energy I'm going to transfer it into the cards. Um, so I, as I do this, I'm reflecting on what I heard in the podcast. I'm reflecting on the conversations and the discussions about how protest has worked over the years and how it relates to now. Uh, something that stood out in that uh, podcast is in, in reference to not seeing the other person for their karma, but seeing them for their soul. Um, Ram Das had sort of described uh, that he had added the president, then Trump. Uh, he had added his photo to his um, puja, 
which is just his sort of meditative, contemplative space. And uh, because he wanted to focus, he said he didn't know what um, what Trump's soul was about. And for him, it was important not to focus on the karma that was resulting in the choices that um, the U.S. president was making at that time. And I thought that was a pretty powerful example of what he was speaking to when he said, um, don't see the karma in the other person. And in his book, uh, Be Here Now, there's actually an illustration um, which reflects the idea that protesters make police and police make protesters. Um, so these are cycles that have sort of existed before and will continue to exist. Uh, but the whole key is to uh, control what we can control, which is ourselves, right? And our attachments to the storylines that emerge uh, in the world around us. Yeah, I think that's the card right there. So, this is rabbit spirit. And rabbit spirit says, now is a lucky time. which feels ironic given what I just said, but the whole point to this, for me at least, is to um, use this as a reflection, right? Uh, and to cultivate mindfulness. So rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. The oracle message, a sunny meadow calls and rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience. It may seem safe below ground, but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new. You are being invited into a new life that you have no experience with, but have no fear. Today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirit's sunny and prolific energy. At this time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. There are no mistakes, really, when you are co-creating with spirit. So let the new ideas spring to the surface, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility. And then the protection message in this card. Vulnerability is required of you now, even if you don't feel safe. Act as if you trust that you will be okay, and soon you will see that you are okay. To create is to take risks at this unfortunate... So wait. To create is to take risks. So at this fortunate, fertile time, Banish your fears and recognize the real security is in immersing yourself in the process of co-creation. It's okay to admit that you don't that you really don't know how to deal with whatever is in front of you. This is where curiosity and not knowing can be a wonderful state of mind. Be playful now. Admitting you are at the beginning of something. Come on out to frolic in the sun's nurturing light. 
because it is time to birth something new. I love that. Uh, I love that message. And of course I say that, of course, every uh, after every time I read one. But for me, in my own personal journey, in my own personal path, it really does seem to fit in. Um, what strikes me about it is the message about uh, what feels like darkness, right? And coming out into the light. Uh, if we're thinking about like a rabbit and how a rabbit kind of tends to um, burrow and, and hide. And so the idea is that now that the sun is shining, now that spring is here, it's a time for renewal. Um, you know, in, in the podcast, uh, Raghu Marcus, his son Noah, had been referencing how he could only sort of see the darkness, right? So to me, in a sense, this card is in response to the energy that was in that podcast. Um, but it also is talking about being brave, right? And sort of standing up for what you're about and who you are. And when we kind of reference that to social change, that can be really difficult right now because it would appear that everybody has something to say about something and that the issues are more polarized than ever before. But in my experience, all that is, is a willingness for people to be, uh, to take more inappropriate actions in their own karma in order to address their own experiences, their own fear, their own hatred, their own ignorance, right? And so it's really a unifying, beautiful message to say, it's time to drop all of that. It's time to stop seeing people as problems and start seeing them as people, as souls. And what I love about it is it's the idea of having everyone who's focusing on who they are, not because of their labels or identities or uh, their appearance or the things that they're going through. But it's really seeing that unifying energy and that unifying spirit that is in with everybody. We are all part of the same system, right? We are here today. We're here now. Uh, and that's not to say, like, just drop everything. It's to say that in those moments where you feel like it's overwhelming or you feel lost, the way to get back on the path is to really start to pause, reflect, and to see how you are connected to every living thing. Um, and it's not easy to not be afraid because as humans, as people, we are souls having a human experience and that experience varies um, on so many levels, right? And there just seems to be a bigger awareness now. We seem to be able to access on all of our devices uh, examples that confirm our fears. And we may not see a lot of reflections of lightness so what I loved about that card and rabbit spirit is it's saying in spite of all of that fear, act as if you are safe because you are, right? So, and that's about being in this moment. It's about addressing the now, uh, which I love. Because again, I live with mental health and if I go too far back, then I access trauma and that will activate all sorts of actions in me. And if I move too far forward and I try to predict the future, 
well, the future has endless possibilities and nobody knows. Uh, what I love about recent teachings is that there are no mistakes in the game, right? Everything that we will experience, we will experience. It's all about how we experience it. It's all about empowering ourselves to be aware of what the actual experience is and not what our perception is, right? So Rabbit says, now is a lucky time. And the truth is, now is a lucky time. We have more tools, more resources, more language, um, and more love than at any point in time in history. We have more opportunity to connect with people that resonate with us. So I will leave it there. Thank you. Namaste.